Hello everyone and welcome to another Design of the Week tutorial. This week's design I've entitled Tropical Sunset. We recently went away on a trip to Punta Cana in Dominican Republic and I was so inspired by the beautiful sunsets there with the palm trees outlined against the sky and I thought what a great idea for a nail design. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me walk you through step by step on the process so you can create your own tropical sunset. For the first step you're going to want to base coat your nails with a nice light blue color. I've chosen to use China Glaze in Bahamian Escape and I've done two coats of that on my nail. Then you're ready for the next step. For the next step we're going to do some sponging. I've chosen to use the Conad stamping polishes in red, yellow and orange but any nail polish will work for this step. I just like that they dry really fast. For the sponge I found this at Walmart in a package. It's in the arts and crafts section but you can also cut apart a regular kitchen sponge and use that. I just like the fact that it had a dowel which is a little bit easier to manipulate when you're sponging on the nail. Totally up to you though, whatever you find, as long as it doesn't absorb the nail polish too much, you will be fine with putting it on with the sponge. Okay, so for this step what you're going to do is you're going to start with, at the top of your nail here near the cuticle and we're going to sponge uh, I'm going to choose orange, but you can choose which way you want the colors to go. But I found working from darkest or lightest, yeah, darkest to lightest is the best thing to do. So I'm going to do a little bit of orange. And don't be afraid to get it on your skin because we can tidy that up after. Okay, because you want to get in all the cracks to cover the blue. And you might need to go over it a couple times to get the right brightness of color that you want. So you can add a little bit more. Let me do it down here. Okay. Like that. Okay, and we're going to try to work in thirds. Okay, I'm going to do the yellow next. So see I'm turning my sponge like this to grab it on a clean edge of the sponge. You don't want to go back in with the color, other color that you already used because it will go back and mix in with the color you want to use right now. So, see like that? I'm going to sponge just on top of a little bit of the orange I already put. And as you can see, I'm just kind of going across horizontally like this to create my sunset effect. Okay, now I'm going to go back in, I'm turning my sponge again, okay, and add a little bit of red in a couple of the spots up here, okay, maybe a little bit more. You can play around with this and get as bright as you want or as subdued as you want, it's totally up to you. And then because yellow is such a light color, I'm going to go back in and just make this a little brighter because and I'm running out of polish here, so put a little bit more on there. Because when you do the black stamping of the palm tree, you want it to really stand out. So the brighter your colors, the better. And you see I'm going all the way over to my skin here, the edge of the nail, to get in all the cracks like that. Okay, now I forgot to mention, you can put your sponging colors on anything you like. I've chosen to use a little plastic palette. You can put it on one of your image plates. Anything that's non-porous, some people have used a glass cutting board because you want to be able to clean it off. If you try to use it on cardboard, because it's a porous material, sometimes the paint will sink right in and then you're having to keep putting more and more on and it'll be frustrating and you'll be using way too much paint and you don't want to be doing that. So make sure it's a non-porous surface that you put your paint on so you don't have to use so much. And just make sure to clean when you're done, okay? You can clean up at the end if you like, but I like to clean as I go. So I'm just going to clean around my nail like this. Now normally I use my corrector pen, but I've run out. So this is the next best thing, or you can use a Q-tip dipped in nail polish remover like that. Your next step is to go back with the light blue color you originally painted your nails with and you're just going to go back over the tip of your nail. 
because you want to make sure that you have a straight horizontal line to show off the sunset and the horizon of the sunset like that okay and it will help more to prevent chips when you have more at the end there so you're going to let that dry really good and then you're ready for the next step the next step we're going to apply a silvery top coat to our water section which is the blue that you just painted at the tip of your nail I'm using a Conad top coat with a little bit of silver glitter in it and you're just gonna go right over top of the blue just like that and this will provide a nice glittery effect to your water and your overall design and you're gonna let that dry really really good and then we're ready for the fun part which is the stamping so for the first stamping step we're gonna create the rocks down at the bottom close to the water now I've chosen to use plate BM10 but you can also do the rocks by hand with a nail striper if you like or a Miji pen but I wanted to show how you can incorporate different designs from stamping and make your own artwork so I'm gonna take this image right here which kind of looks like a cow print or rocks in a way and I'm gonna put a few of them together to create my rock at the bottom so I'm gonna use this one over here with the straight edge and I'm just gonna put the paint there not over the whole design I'm gonna scrape roll okay and I'm just gonna place it halfway down into my water on the edge of my nail and go right over top like that now I'm also gonna take this little one here so I can extend my rock out a little bit longer. Scrape that one. And I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing on there that I don't want. Okay, and I'm just gonna line up the bottom of it and overlap a little bit and then just go right over top, like that. Now I didn't get it all on there, so I'm gonna go back over it again and add a little bit more. Now, this matching up where you're doing what I'm doing right now is a little bit more advanced but with practice, you'll find that it's pretty easy to do. And even if you tend to make a mistake, you can always fix it with another stamp somehow, which is what I like about this. Okay, so I'm just gonna line it up and then I'm gonna go right over top like that. I'll put it down so you can see a little better. So now you see how my rock extends from the side of my nail out into the middle of my water. I didn't do it all the way down at the bottom of the nail because I wanted to leave a little bit of blue so you could still see the sparkly water. Now, when I did my thumbs, as I'll show you here, I did two rocks. So I did one on this side and one on the other. What I found when I was doing this hand though is if I tried to copy what I did on my thumb, my nails were too skinny and so it looked very cluttered, which is what I have on this hand. So I decided that for the thumb, I do two rocks and two trees that way and then for my other nails I just did the one rock sometimes I did one tree and sometimes I did two you can judge based on how big your nails are and how much you want to put on there next step you're gonna take your Conad plate M29 and I've got my big plate here and I apologize if it's glaring and what you're gonna do is take the palm tree I don't know if you can see that there and do it in black like this okay I'm gonna scrape across roll okay and I'm just gonna go as close to the side of my nail as I can like that and I'm just gonna put this here so you can see okay now I've got some room on my nail so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one on an angle kind of like the palm tree has grown crooked because I think that's a really neat effect so I'm gonna clean up my palm tree and do it again so put the black on scrape roll okay I'm just gonna try to get on and grow a little bit crooked just like that. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up like that. I'll move my paper over so now you can see a little bit better. Okay, so you see how I've got two palm trees, one going straight up and down and one going across, but you don't have to do two. You could just do one right up the middle. Totally up to you, depending also on the size of your nail. 
Now, I'm also going to clean with my Q-tip as I go around my nail like this. So I just dipped it in nail polish remover. I'm just gonna clean around like this. Okay, so for the final step, I wanna add some grass coming out of the rock just to finish off where the palm trees are. Now, on this plate, which is Series A05, there's this design here in the corner. And these little wisps at the top of this design I thought looked exactly like grass. So what I'm gonna do is just paint those and I'm gonna add them right at the bottom of my rock there, by the bottom of the tree, sorry. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do this one here like that. So I'm just gonna put the paint where I want my design. Scrape that. Roll. And then I'm just gonna go right over top like that. So it's coming right out of the tree. And then I'm gonna do the opposite direction, wispy thing here. I don't know what they're called, so I'm gonna call them a wispy thing. Scrape it, roll it, check it, and then I'm just gonna go this way. So I've got, I'll just put it down like this again. So I've got grass going this way, and I've got grass going this way. And I think that's all I'm gonna add. You can add more if you like, but I think that looks perfect just the way it is. Okay, and that's all there is to it. The great thing about sponging is the final step, which is the top coat. I love doing this because when you put a nice glossy top coat on, it blends all the colors together and it looks beautiful. It's the most important step, I think, of this technique to do. So I'm gonna use the Conat top coat. I love the gloss effect that it gives and it goes on really well. Now remember we've talked about top coat application before. You don't want your design to bleed, especially when you've used black stamping polish. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have lots on your brush. Okay, I'm gonna go once down the middle, once down the side, and then I'm gonna just dip it in again and go down the other side. And maybe a little bit at the tip there. Okay, and don't go back over it because it will blur and you don't want that to happen. But as you can see, now all the sponging colors have blurred nicely together and it looks so much better than when you first started. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy doing this tropical design. Let me know how it goes and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much and happy stamping everyone.